better if I just let that war roll out. Because that way Denmark won't lose too much and I can give the rest. But I want that province. But... Curse you, Sweden. You're always getting in my way. Alright, that's the Hanseatic Alliance. Let's just fight them. I need someone to fight. Or else I get all this pent up rage. I look forward to the Sardinians rising up when I don't want them to. Jake, why do you hardly pronounce the B in Barcelona? Because it's a funny joke. Combat the heresy. A promise of safe conduct is not binding when given to a heretic. The emperor should have tried and burnt Luther when he had the chance. Now his heretical teachings have spread into Italy. It must be stamped out. Not a... S the papal state, not one province in the Italian region is Catholic. Eh. We can have no Catholic provinces in the Italian region. What? Let's just ignore that. Prove relations to Clemson. Yeah, none of these are worthwhile. People keep telling me to annex Galicia. Like I said before, I want them to get Barcelona first. And they're not even trying to core Toledo despite having a uh, great ruler right now. Okay, we are in position. Let's just go and ravage. Shame we're only allowed one general. Well, I think it would be slightly more prudent to have it over here. Jeez, it. I have no intention of dealing with any of this land right now, so it's just the hands I want to destroy. Give me Hamburg, it is after all your most expensive. Jake, did it say should have or should have in the description? Or well, we just lost it. But if it said should of, then that's terrible. Of course you're allied with France, so you can just march into their lands. Well, that's alright. We'll siege you up and get you out of this war quickly. I reckon that would have been... No, the Hansa still have an army. Not for much longer, but... Let's go the way that we don't get blocked off. High piety. Just check the difference in morale for that. He'll have nowhere to run to. Well, not in time at least. <laughs> there was something very swag about that Teutonic man strolling on in. I loved it. Come on, Hans, I admit that you're finished. That's what we're talking about. So, Teuton friend, if you would be so kind, take care of that. And if you will do that, then we can take care of the rest. Now, the Hans have quite the fleet, one that I would rather not throw my galleys to their death at. And he has a general in charge of them. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just leave them to their own devices. That said, if I scuttled it, I could get these sieges done fat. Nah, forget about it. Jake Holstein and take Holstein and build the canal. Um, no, no, thank you. Then again, then again, you do tempt me.
nothing worth converting. No missions worth having. So what can I spend my... Uh, what can I spend my diplomats on? You know, I still want to annex Never. I don't think feeding everything possible to, to lose is really the answer. And there's no other vassals that I need to make like me. I suppose we will be integrating to lose at some point, just not anytime soon. It doesn't matter what the Livonian Order and the Teutonic Order think of me. Ah, there is the Ottomans. And, of course, the Golden Horde. There's no way I ever want them to stop being my buddies. Jake Stackwipe Jalra. I'm unconcerned about him right now. Mm, this is slightly concerning, though. Come, my friend. Let us dispatch this evildoer. did that the wrong way, but whatever. And they all fall in the end. Yeah, Novgorod's on the case. What a guy. Jalra's gonna run there, they'll probably have enough time. So let's just do what we can to help out. And these guys don't know when to quit. you're doing Toledo. You'll get it done fairly quickly. But boy, do I want that. <clears throat> Thing is, once Toulouse finish off coring all this land, I can rip into France big time. Stop them from ever being a threat ever again. Probably keep a Verne for myself, convert it, and then use that as a staging ground to annex and release Nevers. Since Nevers is another uh, Frenchman, I can use him to feed lots of this land to, rather than just having uh, Toulouse take care of all of it. Plus, Nevers is a huge amount of base tax that I can just uh, gob out instantly as a vassal, which is rather nice. <laughs> Jake's from Scotland. Summer lasts about three days in July. Yeah, that's what we call sunny days. Because there aren't many of them here. Alright, I'll keep you around for five days. One, two, three, four, five. And death to the Flanders. Stupid and sexy. They've got to go. As expected, the Teutons are getting the revolt. The Novgorodians have not, however. I'm sure those relics are just waiting to pop, just like my, Sard my Sardinians. But we can stroll over there and take care of the uh, Mecklenburgian Nets. Thankfully we have the access. I would rather take care of Hansa first, though. Actually, these troops, these troops could take care of it quite nicely, couldn't they? I just need Flanders to get out of France. Isn't it better to take Dutch provinces, Jake? Nope, no. No Dutch people are around left, are left alive that will colonize. 
So there's no need to worry about that. We'll get you over to uh, Lubeck to help with the siege there, since we have two pips and they do not. Just in time. I like to think that was all down to Oglio. All right, folks, attach to me, pretty please. People can actually make up their own deci uh, decisions now. They attach, we all destroy. It's not a river crossing penalty, so you can join in just in case we need a bit more on the flanks. We do not, but you're always welcome. And now the Chitons love us for saving their land. <laughs> glorious. Even more glorious trading in fish, one of the best goods to trade in. Well, it's even better now that it's unrest instead of revolt risk. Now, I'll be honest, Flanders, I never did want you in this war. If you just give me reparations, we can call it a day. Oh, and your alliance with France needs to go. And, you know, frankly, everything. No? Well, hey. I'm in no hurry. Are you? Probably change their mind when we slap them about a bit again. I think that increase in the war exhaustion was what tipped it, or was it occupied and besieged provinces? No matter what it was or wasn't, they lose all their friends and all their money, and they have to keep paying me money. I'm not saying it's not funny, but it is for me. I've got loads of money. It gets these troops exiled as well, so they can march up here where the action is happening. Jelda, I don't really want anything from you. Would you mind just going? Oh, wow. That was a, a big wipe. Thankfully, it was only one small stack. And even more thankfully, our manpower is rocketing up. I never normally build these, because they're expensive and they don't really give you much for what you're building. But... I figure let's put it on the English provinces anyway. <laughs> and on Rome. Jake, the Livonians and the Teutons detached, yeah, beginning to uh, really notice that. But now that I'm dead, the Teutonics feel that they can really dive in there and rip the enemy asunder. <clears throat> and right they are. Alright, Bremen, time to go. Maybe with a bit of luck I can... Uh... Okay, Liguria is not an issue because it was Toulousian. And they're able to convert it. At a good rate as well. 1.9 is not bad for an 11 base tax Italian province. It's part of the reason I gave them Lombard provinces. I wanted them to accept it. And they're really... Oh, jeez. It's all just coming together now, isn't it? Again, Oldenburg, you don't really have much admin skill, but you do have plus one stability, and I have every confidence you'll be able to core all this land if I just simply give it all to you. The other idea is <clears throat> that I just keep Holstein for myself, and that would let me... Do you only need Holstein to build the canal? Because if you do, it's kind of tempting. Mm, then again, I could just give it... I'm going to keep these vassals forever anyway, so I may as well just have them build it. Also a good idea. Get betrayed by my marches. That's uh, that's a lesson there. Never give your vassals even an inch. They will take a mile. I'm impatient here. We're just going to throw all our troops over to Stad to uh, throw them against the wall. We didn't get a defender dessert for nothing. Well, I'll be making a defender dessert out of them though. And yeah, Oldenburg, you deserve this. 
One idea is that I could uh, give Oldenburg up to here and then give the rest to someone like the Teutonic Order. Teutonic ideas are pretty good. However, the Teutons seem to be struggling with their coring. So who do I give it to? Oldenburg or the Teutonics? You know, I like to think that the Oldenburg can be our little trading sensation up here, so they can have it all. Oh, wow. You don't want to, because our friends Jelra don't want to give you up or let you down. But they will for the ducats. They always do. Only 88, though. Ah, Magdeburg. Well, Magdeburg won't be enough to dissuade us. Glorious. Jeez, I just love making money so much. Now, this isn't going to make us popular. No, it's really not. That's like a... 100 aggressive expansion in northern Germany. But we can't let that dissuade us. We need to fight Denmark. Oddly enough, the Swedes don't want to go for this, so we could go for Holland. I do wonder what Sweden will take, though. I mean, the annexation of Norway would be great. It would uh, secure the fact that they are not going to be colonizing. We check the religious map mode just to be absolutely sure that there's no uh, Christian influences in the New World. I don't mind people colonizing, but if they are Christian or Western tech, then no. Just no. Jake, take it yourself. No, I'm not greedy. Alright, that's excellent. And he started coring one of them. He only needed to start coring one, and I wouldn't be concerned. I mean, more than one would be better, but one is all we need. Once we get our diplomat back, pop. We can fight Denmark. And we have the access to get to him as well. And we shall make the conquest of... Hmm. What can we make it of? No point doing these because the Swedes have them. They might end up taking them for them. So we'll make it the conquest of Fien. Seems as good as any. And I doubt they have much of an army. Yeah, 5,000. With a bit of luck, they'll peace out fairly swiftly with uh, the Swedes. Destroy him. Norway are no longer allied. That'll hopefully make them more willing to make a separate peace with Sweden. I don't actually want to take North... Juland, whilst they're at war with Sweden, because that'll give, uh, that'll stop them from having the 25 war score for holding the war goal. Don't want that. Not at all. Holdenberg knows what's up. Three six three one general. Good job. I should have warned Sweden. Not that it would have made any difference. So I guess I shouldn't have warned Sweden. Mm, I don't want to fight him there actually. Oh well. I guess it doesn't matter at all. But I do want Holland under uh, my siege instead of his. Excellent. Goodbye, French culture in the New World. No, that was the Portuguese. Goodbye, French culture in the New World. Great, we got it. We got Holland. It's not good enough, though. If Sweden take either of these provinces, I'm in uh, I'm in trouble, and they probably will take those provinces, so I'm in trouble.
Jake, thanks for being awesome. Why, thank you, Ragnaroch. You see, feedback like that is what keeps me streaming. That's a lie, but it's what I'm saying anyway. Hey, right. oh, that's good. We managed to get all three of them onto Co, so instead of taking 128 months, it will not take 128 months. Take a third of that. <laughs> Giordano Bruno. He was an Italian theologian that identified God with nature. Even though he considered himself a Christian, he both defended Copernicus' view of the cosmos as well as satirized satirized blind belief in religion. He was arrested in Venezia and was extradited to Rome where he was put on trial. Is this a real guy? I suppose he was. So either I can burn him, which does nothing, or I can spare his life, which gives me all this. Can someone who knows the files check this out? Giordano Bruno and see what, spare, what burning him would do. It would probably give me th uh, something that would have an effect if I was a Christian, but I am not. So we'll spare his life and get some free points. Yeah. It is good to be miserly with one's points. Let's finally tech up an admin though, because it's... Oh, but I could get my ideas. Yeah. Worth it. Oh, speaking of, that culture conversion is cheaper now. So if I revoke it... 918... 945... 925. See? We're gaining points. Plus 10 yearly papal influence. Well, that's useless for a Christian Pope anyway. Popes don't use papal influence. So what do you want? Do you actually want to annex Norway or something? Oh, right, this is an issue. This is an overextension-related issue. Not that you're coring these lands at all, but I shall assist you. Gee, that's harsh Protestant and Holsteins. You've been invited to join the Steam Group Mayo and Taxes. Who did that? I get invited to quite a few things on Steam. The answer is generally, I ain't got time, Mato. I mean, I'm flattered, but oh, that's good. Goodbye, Norway. You're never going to colonize with just one province because you won't have the income. But I need this war to be over between Denmark and Sweden. And excellent, Sweden does not have the war score to push a, uh, a demand. Well, actually, is that excellent? What isn't excellent is I'm using regulars to fight rebels here. Jake, tech up your dip. Yeah. It's good to have all that trade efficiency. Very good. Alright, we're on a roll, but Let's not get cocky. Come on, Sweden, you have enough war score to push for... Uh... They'll probably take those two provinces, which is a pain. And it's not like I'm about to annex Denmark. Jake, siege up Bornholm. Could really not care less about Bornholm. Alright, we won. Excellent. Now please start coring this land. With your... Jeez. Do I just breed terrible administrators? 
Uh, what I should probably do is designate you as a march. There's really no need to have any of the guys I'm going to keep around long term as regular vassals. Mm, there's another issue. Squish one bunch of rebs. And like 20 rise up in their place. Alright, dock up in Hamburg, finish up these sieges, and anyone who's a merc. can go and take care of it. That won't be enough though. But we'll actually put you over to uh, Friesland. Since you uh, get your numbers back faster in our owned territory. Dr. Ninstram has subscribed for five months in a row. He's a new lap record. Hmm. That's a lot of money to gain, but we are so dry on admin power these days, I think I will take that. Rebs aren't going to destroy themselves. Jake, you will get a massive uh, relation penalty for breaking March status when you finally want to integrate them. But I don't want to integrate them. I want to have a bunch of chosen, well, basically chosen people who will lead the uh, Papal States to Papal greatness. All the infantry there are mercs. March down there as fast as you can. Alright, surely now, Sweden. Just take your land and be done. Don't make me fight you. Oh, how very convenient. I can take care of them while I'm at it. Actually, don't make me fight you. Now there's an idea. I know the Commonwealth... Oh, Commonwealth is a different kettle of fish altogether. And someone that I do want to destroy. Novgorod have... No, just claims, not cores. Okay. Hmm. Oh, it's unfortunate as well. Sweden aren't Catholic, though. Still no colonies. Hmm. Alright, well, there's little I can do about this. I want this land to go to Livonian order, because it's then that I want to expand into uh, the north. Now, the troublesome thing here was that I wanted Livonian order to have a border with Sweden here, so I could transfer land over to them. That's not going to be possible. Because I, mean, I can give all this land to Livonian order all I want, but in the end, they're going to be limited to this. I can't give them Halland. But, we can deal with this a different way. I mean, it's not my first choice of what I wanted to do. But, this land isn't necessary for me anyway, speaking long term. If I just give all this land over to them, what do I do with Haaland? I could give it back to Sweden, but what's the point? I think I'll just hold on to it. Give me war reparations while we're at it. Okay, so no one's gonna like me for what I do, but when does anyone when does anyone ever like me, really? Let's just increase autonomy.